this? Yeah. Okay, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, Mike, have a look at the next question. It's worth 500 quid. Which famous Englishman's surname is also the name of a wrestling hold? Gladstone, Chippendale, Nelson, Shakespeare. Nelson. Sure. Not Shakespeare? <laughs> a half Shakespeare. <laughs> half Chippendale. <laughs> Nelson. No, Nelson. That's the right answer. You've got 500 quid. Well done. <laughs> So, one more and it's well worth coming back for. You're guaranteed to leave here with at least £1,000. Mike, this is the last point at which you could go home with nothing, but you've got all three lifelines intact. Have a look at this. It's question number five of 15. Which word describes vehicles that can operate on land and water? Ambidextrous. Ambrosian. Amphibious. Ambivalent. Amphibious. That's right, answer. You've got £1,000. Well done. Are you happy now? Thea's smiling. Yeah, she's smiling. Okay, that's about £2,000. You can play the harmonica any time <laughs> you like, any hour of the day or night. Right, Mike, you got to the first important milestone. You got £1,000 guaranteed. You might as well play the next question no matter what, but you've still got three lifelines. Next question's worth £2,000. Question six, you are ten away from one million. Here it comes. Which weight is used in the phonetic alphabet? Which weight? Gram, pound, stone. Kilo. It's worth two thousand pounds to you. You have got three lifelines. Kilo. Sure. Seventy-five percent, I think. Got lifelines if you want them. You don't have to use them, but you got them if you want them. No, I'll go for kilo. Final answer, kilo. You got two thousand pounds. <laughs> Right, Michael, you've got £2,000. You've still got those three lifelines. Have a look at this. It's worth £4,000. Which girl's name is also a word for a female wren? Jackie, Jenny, Jemima, Julie. Girl's name, also a word for a female wren. Jackie, Jenny, Jemima or Julie. It's worth £4,000. Jenny. Sure? How do you know? <laughs> How do you know anything? <laughs> Some contact you'd have with female wrens, really. Final answer? Yeah. Yeah. That's right, you do know your female wrens. You've got £4,000. <laughs> Tell you what, Mike, the way you're going, not only will you be allowed to play the harmonica when you like, I think we may be talking bagpipes. <laughs> And that's love. You've got £4,000. You've still got all three lifelines. Next question is worth £8,000. You are eight away from one million. Have a look. What was the occupation of St Peter, the leader of the Apostles? Physician, tax collector, carpenter, fisherman. St Peter. Fisherman. You play? Yeah, fisherman. Final answer, fisherman. For eight thousand pounds. That's good. You've got eight thousand pounds. You got eight thousand. The drops now get a bit steep. You would lose seven thousand pounds if you gave me a wrong answer. You still haven't used any lifelines. The next question, if you go for it and give me the right answer, you double your money to sixteen thousand. Have a look. What name is given to the centre of an atom? Electron, cathode, nucleus, valency. The centre of an atom. Nucleus. You don't want a lifeline? No. How confident? 100%? <laughs> 99. That's high. <laughs> Final no. answer. Nucleus, yeah. You've got 16,000. <laughs> OK, 
can't tell you that Thea started clapping and it's turned into a sort of praying motion now. So <laughs> did she do that? The next big milestone is the next question. If you give me a right answer to this, you are guaranteed to leave here tonight, Monday night, with at least a cheque for £32,000, and I'll write it out with pleasure on the spot. Have a look at it. Question number 10 of 15. The actress Lily Langtree was the mistress of which of these men? Oliver Cromwell, William Gladstone, George Bernard Shaw, Edward VII. Edward VII. Final answer. Yeah. You know, don't you? You've got it. You've got £32,000. <laughs> Very quietly, efficiently, winning yourself a lot of money. You've got at least, Wade, <laughs> you've got at least that amount of money tonight. Touch it. 30, of course you can. <laughs> Whatever happens, might you leave here with at least that. You've got £32,000, but you've still got all three lifelines. We don't want to give you that. We will, but we don't want to. We'd like to give you at least the next one. You've got three lifelines. You've got 50-50, you've got phone a friend, you've got ask the audience. No pressure, audience. <laughs> <laughs> right, take your time. You've got three lifelines left. In October 1999, a record price of £768,182 was paid for a dress belonging to which actress? Jane Mansfield, Joan Crawford, Judy Garland, Marilyn Monroe. I think I know, but I'll go 50-50. What do you think? I think it's Marilyn Monroe. OK, let's see. Uh, computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Mike just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. It's worth £64,000. You've got two more lifelines if you need them. You might as well play this whatever. You've got £32,000 guaranteed. Final answer. Yeah. If you thought when you came in here tonight you'd be leaving with £32,000, would you have been a very happy man? I would have danced. <laughs> you'd be a lot happier to do a lot more dancing now. You just won £64,000. <laughs> Look at that one. 60, wait, <laughs> 64,000 pounds. But we don't want to give you that. We don't want to give you that. You've still got two lifelines. You're guaranteed 32,000. You can walk away with 64,000 pounds. The next question is worth 125,000. You would drop 32,000 if you did give me a wrong answer. You can phone a friend. You can ask the audience. You can use both lifelines and still walk away with 64,000 pounds, Mike. Have a look at it. It's question number 12 of 15. Who was Red Rum's jockey when he won the Grand National for a record third time? Brian Fletcher, Tommy Stack, Tommy Carberry, Bob Davies. Ask the audience. <laughs> they sound pleased. OK, audience, it's worth £125,000 to Michael. He doesn't have to take your answer. Let's have a look. A, B, C or D, it's worth £125,000. All vote now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. Well, that's conclusive. Hardly any indecision there, was there? 22% um, Brian Fletcher, 35% Tommy Stack, 16 Tommy Carberry, 27 Bob Davis. Um, you have still got phone a friend. Phone a friend, yeah. Okay, who should we phone? Chris. 
Chris. Chris, OK, you'll have 30 seconds telling the uh, four possible answers, hopefully to get you up to £125,000. Mike, do you want me to tell him how much money's involved? Hello? Chris? Yeah. Hiya, it's, uh, it's Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Hello. It, Hello. it makes a change of double glazing salesman. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I normally do that on Tuesdays. Um, oh, right, right. <laughs> Chris, serious business. Mike Sackett's here. He's on £64,000 at the moment. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Well, yes, but he needs your help. The next question, if you can give him the right answer, it's worth £125,000 to him. Oh, I'll do my best. Yeah, OK. <laughs> All right, Mike, the next voice you hear will be Mike's. He'll have 30 seconds to tell you the question and the four possible answers. One of those is the right one. It's worth 125 grand. Oh, God, right. OK, Mike, your time starts now. Hey, hello, Chris. Hi. Who was Red Rum's jockey when he won the Grand National for a record third time? Brian Fletcher, Tommy Stack, Tommy Carberry or Bob Davis? I, I'm sorry, Mike. I, I'm afraid um, horse racing um, was, wasn't one of my um, specialisms. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> I, really, no, I would really be guessing. I'm ever so sorry. Right, OK, thanks very much, Chris. Um, I, th I think Brian Fletcher rode the, the first two times. The third time, I think there was a different jockey, and I've got no idea who it is, so I'll take the money. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Sure, 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 yeah. Sure, 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 very sure. <laughs> yeah. Final answer, you can take the money? Yeah. OK, give him a big hand, he's been brilliant. <laughs> what am I? £64,000. I can tell you, actually, stay there a second, I can tell you that actually the 35%, actually the majority of this audience were right. It was actually Tommy's stack on the third mm. time around. Mike, you've got £64,000. Now, fastest finger first. I'm going to give the contestants a question of four possible answers. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be the next tonight to play for £1 million. No calling out in the audience, please. We want them to concentrate. Right. Fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these four English queens in the order in which they reigned. Anne, Elizabeth I, Mary I, Victoria. OK, let's have a look at the order then. Starting with the earliest, four English queens in the order in which they reigned. First one, 1553, was Mary I. Then it was Elizabeth I, 1558. Uh, Anne came to the throne in 1702, and then Victoria in 1837. That's the right order. Let's see how many of these got it right, then let's find out who got it right in the fastest time. All these got it correct, two of them. David Neal in 5.29 was fastest. Well done, David. Yes, please. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Which event takes place under the big top? The proms. Queen's Garden Party. Circus or PM's Question Time? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's circus, Chris. We would have accepted uh, D, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> circus is the right answer. You got £100. <laughs> OK, for £200, have a look at question number two. What's the American term for a man with a handsome, muscular physique? Cream cake, sponge cake, beef cake, or fairy cake? <laughs> Do they say, he looks a bit of a fairy cake? I think it might be beefcake. I think you're probably right. You've got £200. Well done. <laughs> OK, for £300, question number three of 15. Have a look. Which gardening equipment do you associate with the characters Bill and Ben? Gardening equipment. Wheelbarrows. Pruning shears. Flower pots. Or sit on lawnmowers. <laughs> I think it's flower pots, Chris. <laughs> they weren't Bill and Ben the sit on lawnmower men, were they? No, no. no. It's right, you got 300 quid. Well done, Mike. <laughs> Have a look at the next question, question number four. With which country is the sombrero hat most closely associated? France, Turkey, 
India, Mexico. It's D, Mexico. It's right answer, you've got 500 quid. <laughs> This is the last point at which you could go home with nothing. It's the one that everybody breathes a sigh of relief when they get to the next question. Number five. It's worth a thousand pounds. This is it. Which of these words refers to an over theatrical actor? Beef, ham, pork, mutton. It's, it's ham, Chris. It's so the right answer. You got a thousand pounds. Next question, question number six is worth £2,000. Here it comes. Joe DiMaggio was famous for playing which sport? Baseball, basketball, American football, ice hockey. It's baseball, Chris. 